Hello everyone, this is Evan A. I just wanted to shortly present the features of the plugin I created called Easy Tiles, which is supposed to make it really easy for me and my son to draw uh, platformer games with. Uh, so let's just first uh, show off the drawing features and then after that I'll explain a little bit more about this importer here. So I'll just pick this preset collision shape for these tiles and directly create a tile map layer. Uh, and let's just first show you the brush. Works like this. Zoom in a little. You can also draw in connected mode. And uh, you can increase the brush size, you can change the shape of the brush to a round brush with a right mouse button. You can delete areas, undoing works, redoing works, and as you can see with shift, you can draw straight lines. There's also the eraser, which comes in handy if you want to draw straight lines with the eraser, holding shift. And with right mouse button, we'll cancel erasing. Uh, next, there is area draw, with which you can draw either in plane mode, uh, a couple of shapes I preset. You can also use this in connected mode, which recognizes neighbors like this. And the third mode I created is a stamp mode, which allows you to screenshot certain bits uh, like this, which you can then uh, use to uh, place them as a stamp over uh, your map. And you can also hold shift to uh, erase the places where there is no tile on the stamp. Or you can not hold shift and use the stamp draw like this. It also works in overwrite mode like this. As you can see so let's just uh, test it out really quickly with the rolling light scene i prepared and click run let's see what it does well collision seems to work let's just make it a little nicer by erasing Ooh. excuse me by erasing this little bit here in connected mode, like so. Let's see if it works. One more time. I'm having too much fun already because I need to explain more stuff. When I press space, my little ball bounces. Oh, there you go. So that's the first half of the explainer. Next, I'll uh, explain a little bit about the importer here. So uh, let's just uh, delete the test scene here, confirm, delete this tile map layer here, and let's go back to the importer because there are a couple of more options. So first of all, if you want to draw a new tile sheet in the layout that the plugin works well with, you can uh, generate a, a preset here. I intentionally made it flat so you can see 12 by 24 <laughs> uh, the clear buttons apparently make it a little too small to see the numbers now but well there you go that, that doesn't matter too much but usually you'll want square tiles i guess 16 by 16 you can also do 64 by 64 and you get this nice little presets with which shows you where you can draw each of the tiles which will work well with the automatically generated uh, peering bit. Let's just uh, for now import my Zelia uh, game uh, tiles which I drew myself uh, upon which the other connect modes are based. Uh, well, especially for myself, I created the cactus and the tree trunk collision shapes, which are, of course, perfect for my cactus and tree trunk. And 
uh, I can pick those out. Uh, I'm seeing a, uh, a hint here because I configured uh, the tile size to be 64 by 64. It expected a 64 by 64 uh, tile size, which generated this uh, warning. But once I imported one 15 by 15 tile set, uh, it defaulted to this uh, size. So the warning is just a little helper, but you can ignore it as long as all the, the tile sheets you're importing are of the same size. So uh, there's also uh, the option to not use colli collision, which is the default. You can use uh, rectangles. Uh, you can use slope top corners, which works for some things better than others. Uh, well, this looks nice as something which wouldn't collide. This can use rectangles. This nice with rectangles. Well, I put the cactus on the cactus. Looks okay, I guess. Uh, you, let's use collision rectangles here and no collision here. There's one more option, navigable. I'll explain that uh, in a minute. Uh, now, we also have the option to simply save this as a new tile set, which we can import into a uh, tile map layer later. So I'll just call this tile set two, I guess, save it. Uh, what you can also do is uh, click here and save template, and that will generate a PNG file just like this, which you can then later import into your favorite uh, editor. Uh, graphics editor to draw over with your own designs or like me use a, a cc0 asset uh, uh, found on the interwebs open game art and copy paste some of the tiles you like and i'll use this one for the third navigable explainer uh, so what do you get in this new tile set i'll just double click it we saved it here tile set 2 uh, what the easy tiles import gives you is definitely not everything, a lot less flexibility as the normal tile set and tile map layer options of Godot 4, but it does give you a uh, physics layer, uh, uh, with the shapes you just saw in the preview. And it gives you terrains in one terrain set with a terrain name based automatically on your imported uh, files. And uh, the terrains connect to itself, uh, to themselves. And they expect, uh, so let's call it exclusive mode. Uh, I can now start drawing with uh, this tile set, but I first need to now manually create a uh, tile map layer node like this and drag the new tile set in here. So uh, the Easy Tiles Draw plugin does not automatically open for a tile map layer unless you either tell it to or use this button in the easy tiles importer now that i told it to open it with easy tiles draw it will attempt to open it directly with easy tiles draw okay so let's see let's stop erasing for a minute and let's see what the other connect modes are so uh Inclusive is actually a kind of Zelia like, uh, and that's a, a game I made in Pygame two years ago. And I thought it would be dead easy also in Godot to do stuff like this. But of course, things don't always work exactly as you expected. Uh, but inclusive mode works like, like this, and I, you can define it as. Uh, let's see how do I write it down. Consider all terrains in my terrain set my neighbor, as per the template. So, in inclusive mode, 
everything connects to everything. See? Uh, does that make sense to you? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, it make, made sense to me. <laughs> and that's why I did it. Uh, and, well, my son and I were, were used to this way of connecting stuff. And it's really hard to, to change the way you're used to doing things. So that's all the argument I have for inclusive mode. And then I also added exclusive mode, which is defined as determines in which uh, let's read this one uh, consider only my terrain as per the easy tiles template as a neighbor so then you have actually exactly the same effect effect as almost exactly the same effect as when you're using the uh, peering bit uh, godot default uh, except that when you make adjustments to the terrain peering bit yourself which you might want to do uh, depending on your use case uh, then of course the godot mode is a lot more flexible but for me i thought it was a lot harder to understand so maybe uh, one of these modes will make you happier as well and of course i love stamping so i'm just going to do that one more time using the snapshot here and in connect modes stamping is pretty slow if you use a big stamp but if you use override mode it's really fast and before you know it you have a huge game to work with anyway so that's the bit on uh, i guess collisions there's a lot more to tell but uh, i really like to also uh, show you that it can actually be pretty easy to do navigation with a navigation agent. Uh, I see a lot of hard tutorials with baking of polygons and all sorts of stuff like that. But actually, I think it can be done easier. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but you know, uh, tell me in the comments why I'm uh, underestimating the complexity and I'll be perfectly fine with your great explanation. So let me just show you why I thought it, it, it really shouldn't be hard. And I'm really curious, actually. So uh, there's also the import images button, which kind of does the same as dragging stuff in here. So uh, I'll show off that button too, I guess. So let's just do the brick face uh, without a wave collision. That, that that would be nice rectangles here and let's make these big bricks let's make these no collision navigable so now uh, they are in a navigation layer as well uh, let's create this tau map layer and uh, let's delete this one for now of course you can stack tau map layers as well and all sorts of possibilities so what can we do now uh, I, I think I'm not sure. I think I remember this as the navigable layer. Let's make a big little area so we can make a little maze. And let's use the brush draw for the walls. And let's go like this, like this, like this, and like this. Okay. Maze enough, I guess. Yeah, I guess this is maze enough. So I prepared a little mouse following light scene. I hope this works out of the box, actually. Uh, let's uh, also make collision and navigation and paths visible. And let's just see if when I make editable children and use the navigation agent, enable the debug, it was already on. Okay, let's let's just see. I hope I didn't make any mistakes this time. Oh, there you go. This is a, my little mouse following scene. And there you have navigation. Well, I've read a lot of tutorials explaining how to bake a big old per performance polygon, but it, Maybe maybe I have a good device or something, but is there is there something wrong with just using squares for my navigation? 
I don't know. But I'm, I'm sure your explanation will be great. Uh, thank you very much. So I'm kind of done showing off. I just also wanted to make clear that uh, it's possible to, uh, to uh, for instance, also draw with a tau set which was not per se conformant to the template I, I, I expect with the easy tiles. You can even uh, drag in uh, into the tile set of your making a, a, a new uh, atlas and automatically do this and it will kind of work uh, as, as soon as you assign it to rain. Uh, it will work. Uh, uh, I don't know. Just create a create a terrain. Add element. Uh, oh, terrain five, and then just assign one tile, and then uh, when reloading, uh, you 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 can actually in overwrite mode just draw with this and make use of uh of stuff uh it's not perfect but i just wanted to show the it the the, the i guess flexibility of the draw uh environment this way uh this is actually also a scene i used to test the, the navigation with you have a little hedge maze well um i'm not going to edit this recording because I was encouraged by my uh, by my coach to just drop it online, listen to the feedback, and learn from that. Uh, hopefully, you find this plugin in the asset store soon. I love you all. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye bye.